All right, here's a little uh, infield use of the uh, field piece VPX7. I did a review on it not too long ago. That was just an overview. Uh, this time I'm finally getting to use it. Um, I have it on a ladder because it will not reach. So don't mind the oil level. This is not uh, on flat ground, so it's kind of tilted. So the oil is kind of going back. But anyways, got it connected here, 3 8 going up using the uh, AccuTools blue vac hoses. Um, but yeah, let's turn it on and see what it sounds like on startup. Nice little startup, no crazy shaking. It's not like a JB pump, that thing starts up like a V8 starting up. Um, you can see our window here of our oil. I really like that. Definitely with the light kind of gives you a better idea of how the oil's doing in there. You can see here's our discharge for, uh, outlet. Um, but like I said, what's cool about this pump is if you got dirty oil here, you got a valve here, Drain the oil out, take the cap off. You have your new oil fresh in here. Dump it in while the pump is on. Dump it in. Have this closed, obviously. Dump it in, and you're good to go. So um, let's check the micro level. This is a little three and a half ton unit, so this 10 CFM pump is definitely an overkill. Um, but let's check the micro gauge. See what's doing right now. Just gotta be kind of careful. I don't want to. Open. There we go. It's a good thing to have your valves open, right? As you can hear, a difference in vacuum sound. are the AccuTool valve core uh, tools right here. I like using these. They're a little shorter than the Appions. Uh, for that case, that's why I like using them. And we're already starting to pull down. usually do it on small split systems or smaller units I don't use double hoses I only usually am doing that setup on a bigger ton system and then once I'm done with the vacuum obviously do a decay test and then I'll isolate this and then start to charge from there
thought it would be. As you can see, we're at 1200. So far, obviously, it's pulling down pretty good. Nice pump, not too heavy. I like the uh, access ports right here that's facing out this way. Gives a little, instead of having a T like I have on my JB to connect on the sides. Um, but we'll give us a little bit more time, get down to 500, do a decay, and then that's it. But yeah. I mean, definitely a nice pump from Field Piece here, and I definitely recommend getting it. Uh, if not the 10 CFM, get the 7. Uh, but yeah, that's my follow-up follow-up view uh, review on this, and that's it. See you later.